Think that with the, uh, the no. array of uh, entrance gear that he has. I don't think the entrance gear takes away from his, his height. He is engulfed in a robe. Well, yeah, and a mask. And a mask. And the I awe think. of the audience. <laughs> Intriguing contest. You've got time to shake hands, are you going to shake? Got a shed. Both these guys look more than ready for this contest. This main event has seized the moment, which up to now has been impressive as hell. It has been really impressive. Long up for this match, Miss Marshall Otis versus High Flyer. Where's he, what's he going down? Uh, I don't know if this is a PG show, this, Karen. I don't know what he's pulling out of his trousers. He shouldn't be digging down that deep, neither. What have we... What, 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 what is this? What? I don't, I don't know, know. This, is like a, this is like a past watershed magic trick. This, this is getting disturbing really quickly. What's he got there, Parrot? I was going to say it's a great length, but... Paranoir, it's just a big performance to him. If this is a psychological maneuver, it may be working. Uh, and Ruffer just wise up to that. He's not, he's not going to let that sack them. Uh, it's under war now, but it's on the world. Shoulder tackle. Back on the spotlight on him, but taken down with the head scissors. Quite pleased himself. Everett hits the ropes at speed. Back again, Stanley Hurricane, a tremendous agility once again from the apex of agility. Sorry, I walk around here. I can't take a breather. He wants to rest. It's Taking hard. a bit of an interval break. Um, Noir has disappeared. He's been under and we've lost him. What does referee do here? Did he count him out? Well, he's under the 4GW ring here and he, he disappeared with a flash. And how does Andrew Everett come about this? Yeah. Well, Andrew Everett asking, you know, where can he be? He's obviously under the ring, but where best we don't know. And he's actually come out under the side look. He is. Well, that didn't quite work. No, he didn't, didn't work the way he wanted it to. No amount of face paint can uh, disguise his visibility there. No. Karen Noir feigning some real stage pain here. Is it a stitch? I think, I think if this was a stage right now, I think he'd have been slapped. I think, yeah. Forget he's going down, never mind where he's going. It's a good job it's ballet, because if this was opera, he'd be singing now. He's laid in there. That's it. Just laid an egg. I refuse to believe that. Did you see where it came from? Well, there's only so many orifices. Or orifices, should I say. But the big picture here is a car noir has produced an egg in the middle of this main event match. Um, I don't have lost the words. I don't think I've ever been I'm, I'm, I'm sure he's eaten enough protein before tonight. I don't think this is necessary. I'm, I'm really confused as to why I've got an egg. Yeah, I'm just confused at why he's got an egg in this match. 
I'm sorry, but I, I've seen some strange things in the town, but never uh, this. Well, this is psychologically, this is working because Andrew Everett has been thrown off his game here. Trying to protecting that head at all costs. What's inside there? What's happening living in that? Not like, not like his you gotta hope it's hard boiled. <laughs> Don't like his breakfast for tomorrow. How do you like your eggs? Fried? Scrambled? Sunny side up? Oh, that's a rake of the eyes, and this is nothing but a complete performance from Cara Noir to try and gain a psychological advantage over Andrew Everett. The ref well, referee Neil Everett has that egg. I don't know what he's going to do with it. He certainly can't count the fall. That's going to be a mess if he does. Great standing moonsault from Everett. He's got the he egg. can't he's got count. The egg. He's got the egg. And he's... Remember, he's telling the... Well, referee thought he had Everett, sorry, that he cannot count because of the egg. This has been one of the most unorthodox... This is, this is bizarre. Wait, oh, what's he doing with that? I don't, I don't know. Oh. I'm going to find out. I don't know where he's going with that. I really don't. You need to look after this. Oh, well, we don't. I don't want to take good care of it. Okay? Don't break, don't break it. Don't. I, hope you, I hope you're listening to him, Ned. You, oh. you take care of that. I've been told not to break an egg. Because if I didn't think I'd say that. Nevertheless, tonight. Andrew Everett, springboard over the top. Aaron Wire of Ed in it. Catches him and drops him on the ring apron. I'm still slightly bemused. Extreme trauma to the lumbar still, region there, but Karen Noir is in control. Major, are you holding that egg? I, I'm holding the egg. I, I'm slightly bemused. You better be incubating on. it. I beg your pardon. You think we've got a fight on the outside momentarily here. This has become a brawl, and the referee has had some unusual situations to deal with tonight. So have I. And this one stretches to all four corners of the building here. Referee trying to gain some control here. I think Andrew Everett was trying to get Lucano back into the ring. It's rather admirable that Andrew Everett has been able to continue an offence after that modified side slam onto the ring apron. It's also interesting to watch the referee's only just started to count. You know, throwing a bit of leniency for both men. I think the referee's possibly uh, nodding towards the fact that he did waste a bit of time bringing you that. Um, uh, let's, not, let's, not, let's not elaborate what's in my hand. Yeah. This fight is uh, spilling into the crowd here. It's absolute madness. It's not, I think it's, it's almost like Corrin was trying to run away. He can't run very far though. Andrew Everett will part up to him now. Well, I don't know about the psychologically uh, damaging Andrew Everett. This is messing with my head. I don't think I'm going to sleep tonight. Who's holding his head? Who's holding his head? Me or you? At least you've got a sense of, uh, of responsibility of being. I've got time to break it, so that's what I'm doing. He's, he's a match official. You do what the match official says. I don't think they're doing that right now. No. Karen Wow with a huge shot there to Everett, who is on the back foot here. The Black Swan in control. The referee needs to get both of them back inside his ring. Head off the steps. This is nothing more than a fight at the moment. Black, uh, well, I don't know what it is. Certainly the theatrics have gone and the ugly is taking over here. Wow, with Everett back in the ring looking to end this match, looks a leg. Everett putting an end to that attempt. And you heard that. I think everybody in Castleford heard that. Need to drop out his comfort zone there. Ugly uh, maneuver, and my God, ever except for a flip. There's a cover. Very near two count. My oh, God, gaining the advantage now. After all the time game come that Cara Noir is putting behind these moves. He is giving it everything. The Irish whip then sending Everett sideways into that middle buckle. Everett's no small man. No, he's, he's, not, he's not small. Both these guys in great condition. I think right now Andrew Everett's brace has been scrambled. 
Oh, down here from Paranoir is holding on to that neck, trying to control Everett, keep him in a position where he can strike, but Everett is fighting back, he shots to the gut, snap a takeover, ending that endeavour, and then a, a boot to the back. Everett taking a lot of trauma to that back region. That was a, a sort of a stay by Coronel. If you think I can get that, um, there's a lot to that concentration. That, I don't even know what to call that. It's some kind of uh, nice. Everett's neck whip lashing off the top rope there. Coronel into the middle buckle. You think that Andrew would be used to being a, you know. Back to the. I don't know what I'm supposed to say. He can't. I'm telling you, he cannot help it. It's the, it's the thespian in him, and this is unusual and unorthodox to say the least. I'll let you call that move. What was it? I haven't got a clue. But what it is doing is confusing Andrew Everett to the point where he might not be able to gain his bearings, but he certainly did there with a beautiful high angle drop kick followed by a clothesline. Two high impact clothes lines, it's not pretty but it's effective. I'm dropping for more stone. You know, look, oh, what is seen? Springboard. Springboard almost into the parry kick. Car in the wire on the outside now, Everett. Is he going to take some kind of chance? We've seen, we've seen Everett do things like this before. Off he goes, boom, I'm going to show the right two-thirds of the audience out there. Both went down the outside of the ring, the referee, you know, well, was going to take it, but Everett is back to his foot. High risk. High risk, high reward. Flying in the face of danger, Andrew Everett, he doesn't care. He has no fear. He just wants to put an end to this bizarre facade which we've seen from Cara Noir. Bizarre by everybody. No look out. Everett looking to fly again. Angel take the apex of agility taken to the air with a core screw. Heel kick and a near fall, two and a half. I thought the bell was sounding. Beautiful court scoop kick from Andrew Everett. Yeah, Andrew Everett was actually finished with an egg. Oh, we've got an egg on the brain. I really need closure with that egg, Major. Not the only one. Andrew Everett measuring Karen Noir with some open palm shots, catching his opponent on the jaw. Black Swan side stepping out. Snap German. Snap belly to back suplex, heel kick to the face. Hanging neck breaker. That can do it. This could be all. Karen Hall. That could be the winning ring. No. What's up, two and seven eights? Nearest, damn it. Jari neck breaker from Karen Hall. Rude awakening almost. It was. Conor asking himself, "What do I need to do?" He may be a showman, but he is tough. As Everett is finding out here. I don't think that was very wise. I think you're fueling a fire. Car, I think you're fueling a fire. But the one thing you don't do is play with fire because you might get burnt. I think Car might, might find out that in a moment. This is the fearless Andrew Everett. With the standing in Zaguri. And the second, Car Noir on the ropes quite literally. He's either he's to keep the floor to keep it in the air. Everett on the top. So, only found the knees. The roll up. The roll up from Noir. Two and a half again. He's looking for that guillotine. Brain buster there, Karen Noir, but he couldn't find it. Round right left in the back of the head, caught him flush. This is back and forth, this is Cecil. Desperation, but beautiful manoeuvre from Everett. 
Both men down, we got two weary guys here who have just beaten the hell out of each other. Well the equilibrium looks to have gone but both of these guys need to find that little extra to pick up the win. Ron Waller the running head start only finds the soul of Everett's boot. Nice evasive maneuver from Everett. Ron Waller's just run out of gas I think here. I think you're right, you know, the gas tank is empty. It's just it's just fine. Yeah. Yeah. German suplex, there's a bridge, and Everett gets a two and a half, another near fall, my god. What does it take to keep this guy down? What does it take to keep, you know, a guy like Carnot down? Both these guys, no matter what the outcome, have put on a hell of a display here. I think Everett is looking for high risk. When does he not? Andrew Everett. Channeling that inner Hardy. He is scaling the top row. Andrew Everett, top row. The end could be near for the Black Swan. This with a 450, but he landed on his feet impressively. Up there. Using those ropes there. Yeah. Nice agility. Amazing from Everett. Buries his shoulder in the ribs. Looking for the springboard. Oh, oh, he, got he got caught! Carnot oh, caught him! He got him! Oh. Oh. I thought he had it! I thought he had it! Well, Carnot, his frustration has now set in. You know, Carnot is very frustrated. He can't believe that uh, Andrew Everett managed to kick out of that. Andrew Everett has thrown everything at Carnot. He missed with a 450. He hit the Kylo kick earlier, but he has still not got the job done. How Car Carnot did not get a three count from that brain buster I'm maneuver not, I'm there. Not, I'm not liking this. No, I'm not either. I'm not liking this. No, no, this is where your, this is where your responsibility comes into play here, Major. We've got to... Well, I, I was going to use that. I don't, I don't know. Well, I've got my egg. Carnot has got that egg and he's got a pint. Like your pint glass. Pot or something, I don't understand. Yeah, well, you've got to put a pint of beer in that. We've gone for the sublime to the ridiculous here. What is he I playing at? I don't know what he's trying to do. He's trying to break... You're better off using the... Oh, he's... I don't know what he's trying to do. I don't know what he's trying to do. <laughs> it's not... Oh, really... oh. Well, I was going to say, we did question whether it was hard-boiled. I think that's just confirmed it. It quite clearly isn't. And that goo is in that pot now. Oh, he's going to make Everett. No. Oh, don't do this. No, this is... This, 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 this is beyond disgusting. Uh, Everett avoiding... Certain oral disaster there. I think it's, I think we've given time, him an idea. The time's near turn. I think Noir's gonna get a taste of his own disgusting medicine. It's, it's or is it? I don't know. Oh yes! Oh, oh they're not seeing what I'm seeing! No, no, no! I can say no more. Everett, super oh. kick! Oh. Castlefield showing in egg! I suppose the Yorkie's on you. Oh! oh my, God. my God! Yeah, no, the Yorkie's all over the in the Andrew Everett with the reverse runner. Up to the top. He may hit it. Shoot! Oh. 